Um, 2007 World Series. I'm in my White Sox outfit. We just got done winning the league, league, Little League Championship. And we were trying to always get the players autographs and go talk to the players all the time. I didn't know Jaden at the time, but all of us, me and him, and a few other kids jumped this fence on the side. And we run to go like, run to talk to the players because we were so excited, LC1. And all of a sudden these, these guys just pick us up and then they're taking a team photo, so they just plop us down in front of the team photo, they start handing us trophies to hold, and they're like, put up number one, put up number one. So then I was, I was like, wow, that was pretty cool. We just got in this picture. Didn't expect that, but that was, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was dope. Yeah, so my dad played here, so he was really good friends with Ed Chef, who was the coach at the time. And I was with one of my other friends, and I didn't know Jackson yet, so that was pretty, pretty weird. <laughs> But yeah, at the end of the game, my dad was kind of like pushing the issue. He like wanted me to go down there and like, and as soon as they won, he was just like, all right, like go and just like made us go out there. And then we all like got, were around the players, just talking to them and everything. And they're like, just hop in the picture. So there's three little kids out in front of the banner next to the trophies and everything. We took a picture and like, it was a, it was a special moment for sure. Yeah, but don't worry, everyone. It all started when we were about 10 years old. We uh, had a travel ball team together here in Lewiston. All like five of us throughout middle school and elementary school played some sort of baseball together. Uh, sixth grade, we took a team down to California to play in the Western Regionals. And that was pretty exciting. That was a good uh, environment for all of us to be in, a good, uh, good change of scenery since we never got out of the state of Idaho. But uh, yeah, it all started then. We started working our way up to middle school, kind of jumped around on different travel teams, but we hit high school and then Legion came around. So we met back up and started, started the grind all over again and worked for a state championship and a regional championship. So, so when we were 14, we um, all came to Lewis in high school to play baseball. And growing up with these guys, like we all had a pretty good skill set. So our team was pretty dominant. and. Um, over the years, when it came to summer ball time, when um, LC, Coach Robbins, took over the Legion program, we all joined the Legion team. So going from high school ball, playing together, and then going to summer ball, I thought was really good for our team chemistry, especially growing up with these guys. We knew each other. I know everything about them. They know everything about me. I could trust them on and off the field. So every year was a year of improvement, and I felt like that built up a lot of momentum for us. Our senior year, when we were playing in Allegiant State, and we won, and then we went to regionals in Montana, and ended up going to the World Series in North Carolina. Um, we ended up finishing eight, like top eight, out of 33,000 teams in the, in the U.S., so I thought that was pretty cool. It says a lot about us and like how special our team was and I think that all falls back on the team chemistry from us playing together for so long and being such good friends. I went to college in Siskiyou's. It's a junior college in Northern California and I played football and baseball down there and so after being away for the two years um, really finding out what like other programs are like and then I got the opportunity. I came back here to watch these guys. I was actually committed to another school, and I came to watch them for the World Series before I took off. And I ran into Coach Balmer, and he just asked me if I wanted to come back and win a national championship with my best friends, and I couldn't pass that opportunity up. So I, like, obviously that day, we were already talking about it before and how I wanted to and how they were wanting me to come back. So I couldn't pass that opportunity up. It was one of those moments where I just, I had to. And, China won another national, or China won a national championship, bring it back to Lewiston. Yeah, so I took kind of the same route as Alex. I went the JUCO route, went to Yakima Valley College, and just getting that text from Balmer about early spring when I was over at Yakima and just asking if I wanted to come back and play for the Warriors. There was really no question about it. It was my first option, and I'm just getting to come back and play with these guys again is a great experience. It's something that we all thought about growing up and now we're actually getting to experience that. The first time I put on a Warrior jersey, it, it felt really special to me. It was um, a, like a, literally a dream come true. 
I just remember being a kid growing up, watching the Warriors play all the time and winning, and always wanting their autograph and getting to talk to them and going to all those camps for the NAI and getting the hot dog and talking to the guys and just always wanting to be one of them. And like I remember sitting in class and I'd always draw these drawings of a baseball player and I'd put Fuller on the back of his jersey and I always put, wrote number 10 because number 10 was always my number growing up. And so I always just made doodles of that. And then the jersey they gave me was number 10, so I thought that was pretty cool. I'd always grew up making drawings of that, um, always fantasized about it. It was my dream, and so to put that jersey on was an honor. Like, it was something that I think all of us growing up wanted to do because that's, that was everyone's dream, is to be the local guy that comes and plays for your town heroes, is the LC Warriors. So growing up, just watching the Warriors play like every year is a big event. Like all the elementary schools went to it. So just watching them play is like they were like our kind of our superheroes because we played baseball growing up and we knew that they were a big program and they knew what to do. They know how to play baseball the right way. So going through high school and Legion, it was just like that was an option. Like I want to play at LC. Like they do it right. I know it's gonna be a fit like that would be a fit for me like I like it everyone everyone likes that program so just like seeing him my sophomore junior senior year win three national championships that really like set the tone for their program so getting to college and being able to put on that jersey was really surreal just because that program this program has done so much for this valley and the community that it's an honor to put on that jersey so it means a lot yeah, so like growing up, obviously you're, it's a small community, so having such a big program, this community, community just kind of brings all of us together. And being a little kid playing baseball here, you kind of idolize all the players here. Just because when you're a little kid, you're always playing wiffle ball or some sort of baseball game, and you, you dream about being in the World Series or a championship game, and you come up to bat or something like that. And it really, it was a bigger deal because I had my dad and my uncle playing the program, so it just meant so much more to me to want to be able to come here and follow in their footsteps and play in the same program as them because it's such a special program and it's a very good program, one of the best in the country. So that's what it kind of is a lot more special just to be able to put on that jersey and be able to like realize like, wow, I get to play for this program and realize how lucky I am to be here. Uh, just growing up, you know, you're out here pretty much every weekend in the regular season watching all the games and then World Series just running around being a kid and just watching those guys just dominate World Series games and getting to come back and do that yourself. It's something special that a lot of people don't get to experience, you know, just playing for your hometown, trying to win the World Series and just something that you, know, you can't change, or it's not change, but you can't replace it. Oh yeah, and continuing to now, like I feel lucky to get to play a few more years with these guys again. It's something pretty special, and to go out and chase a goal like the 20th title, um, I'd love to do that with these guys and share that around the campfire with other kids one day and get our kids into the game, get that going. Maybe coach a few travel ball teams of our own. So. After growing up together and just playing on a bunch of different teams and idolizing LC State so much, I remember one of the first games that I went in last year, I was playing center field, and when I looked at, I, when I looked in towards home plate, I seen Riley at second, Jaden at third, Luke at first, and Jackson was catching, and I was, and it was like, whoa, like, we're all together again, and it was, and seeing that jersey on us and fans in the back, it was one of those moments, it's like, it was the first time we've been together in all those years, and. It was like, wow, we're, we're really doing this and like, we're, we're what, what can we do from here? And it was really my question and how far can we take this? And just seeing us together, it was, it was special. Like, it, that meant a lot and just, even a day-to-day -day practice looking out and seeing them, like if I'm getting tired and I'm, I'm getting down, I'm like, this practice is long and I just want it to be done. And just looking over and seeing these guys grinding just as hard and it keeps me motivated, it keeps me going and it makes it a lot easier because I know that I got these guys by my side and I can do anything with them.